Yeah, it's Wales versus Australia at the weekend. I uh, don't know who to support, and that's going to be a tough one. But the, uh, in, in all seriousness, um, leaving out Brian O'Driscoll, everyone's talking about, it's a big decision. They need leadership, and he's been the best player in the Northern Hemisphere for a, uh, a decade. Um, and I think that the biggest surprise for me is Tom Croft not being included. They've had uh, problems at the line-out, the Lions. Croft is the best line-out uh, exponent in the world. Uh, he has not been selected, not even on the bench. So I find that quite surprising. And it seems like a very negative team that's going out there to defend and maybe kick territory and look to a power game. And that power game just won't work against the Australians. It's been a strange tour, not really not exciting. I've not really been excited or enthralled by it. OK, we come to the final game and it can go either way, but it's probably the only time you've been on the edge of your seat in the last six weeks. So uh, I think that Warren Gatlin, the coaching staff, the Lions as a whole needs to take a look at itself in, in how it prepares for future tours uh, and, and, and what the tour's about. Is it just about winning three test matches or is it about rugby in the Northern Hemisphere? I think Warren's picked a side that he knows. He's gone back to uh, his bread and butter, if you like, and uh, he'll either live by it or die by it. I think that uh, as a touring party, as a coaching uh, structure, they've made quite a few mistakes. It's easy to say in hindsight as a commentator or a, a pundit or an expert, whatever you want to call it, but I think most people would agree from the outset, only taking two fly halves was a massive risk, especially on a, on a, a tour of six weeks plus. Australia will win and I think they'll win quite comfortably.